Yo, what up guys, Warcrux here. Uh, part 1 is already up on the YouTube. This is part 2 of the uh, Mark Hearth uh, PTS patch notes or patch notes, whatever, update 28. Uh, if you're not currently liked or subbed to this channel, 86% of you guys or gals are not subscribed, so please, please, please do so. Let's get right into this. I'll make this as quick as possible. So we're going to go over the class changes in this video and then uh, some of the set changes that uh, they're thinking about implementing. So some of these classes, I'm not sure. I'm just going to read through them. Uh, Grave Lord of Blast Bones made some improvements to cool down duration on this ability to reduce the chances of it becoming locked out despite the skeleton dying. Frozen Colossus removed this ultimate and more uh, major vulnerability in vulnerability. I, that's weird. Increase the duration of major vulnerability applied from these to 12 seconds per hit, up from 8. This will increase the total duration to 15 seconds per cast. Okay. That's a little buff. Not Blade in Assassination Tree. We got Executioner. This passive now restores 500, 1,000 magic and stamina when it procs, rather than 930, 1876 magic or stamina, depending on your highest maximum. Master Assassin. This passive now increases your physical and spell penetration against targets you're flanking by 1,500 and 3,000 rather than your weapon spell damage against them by 130 and 260. Uh, developer comment. Uh, just some PvE. We boo shit. Shadow Path of Darkness. Refreshing Path. More fix an issue where the visuals from this ability and its heals could last much longer than intended. Summon Shade, fix an issue where the ability is more pet could attack innocence in some, some cases. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, in the Siphoning Skills Tree, we got Soul Shred, uh, Soul Siphon Morph, fix an issue where this ultimate could aggro enemies despite dealing no damage. Okay. Drain Power, Power Extraction Morph. This morph now applies to minor cowardice the enemies hit rather than reducing their weapon and spell damage by a unique amount. This will result in larger decrease in weapon and spell damage, but one that cannot be stacked with other sources. Okay. Reduce the base duration by one second, but the ability now ranks up in duration by this by one second per rank up to 10 seconds. Okay. I don't know a lot of people using this anyway. Simplar. Adric Spear. I see this in fucking everything. Uh, spear shards. Fix an issue where the synergy from this ability could remove the synergies after being consumed. We have Sun Shield, the Blazing Shield more fix an issue where this ability's explosion visuals will multiply in intensity with the number of enemies hit, causing your screen to experience a level 7 <laughs> earthquakes and your eyes to be blinded with the brilliance of Meridia. The explosions will now always appear well, regardless of the damage you deal. Okay, okay. Shit's too bright. So we got Restoring Light, Healing Ritual, Ritual of Rebirth more fix an issue where this hill was... Targeting the alley furthest from you within its range rather than prioritizing the allies who need the heal. Warden, we have animal companions. Feral guardians, fix an issue where this ultimate more special attack, crushing swipe, could fail to hit large monsters like dragons and titans. Okay. Scorch. I don't think that's right. Scorch, subterranean assault morph. Uh, this morph no longer applies fracture as deep fissure now affects all armor. This ability now recasts itself after completing once per cast. This ability now recasts itself after completing once per cast. So you get two of them. That's cool. That's very cool. Alright, weapon types. Destruction Staff. Frost Aves have received adjustments to help them further stand out as tank and supported oriented weapon types. Yay! Check out the ability adjusted to see what's changed, and we'll do just that. Spoiler. So, the devs say the original intent of the Frost Staff line was to enable magic users to successfully tank in PvE. Yeah, 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 we boo shit. Let's, let's see what they do. Applying Chilled while actively holding a Frost Staff now applies a minor brittle in addition to its other effects. Know that the staff must be on your active bar when shield is applied for this to proc. I don't know what minor brittle is, so I'm going to have to look it up. Destruction Expert. This passive now also grants 900-1800 magicka whenever you absorb damage with a frost staff damage shield. This new effect can occur once every 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. Okay. We got Destructive Touch. Fix an issue where this ability on the Destructive Clinch Morph 
would aggro enemies before dealing damage. All right, we got Destructive Clinch, the Frost version of this morph now taunts enemies. Okay, so your spammable is now your taunt. Very cool. Impulse, each elemental type of this ability and its morphs have gained new functionality. So we have a Flame Impulse, now it's still bonus damage that scales based on missing health if the target was hit by burning. Frost Impulse now applies minor protection up to six group members for six seconds. Very cool. Shock Impulse now deals 5% more damage for each enemy, up to 30%. Wow. That's pretty cool. Try Focus. This pass no longer causes your heavy attacks with the Frost Staff to taunt the enemy. Increase the damage. Strength of damage shield granted by heavy attacks from Frost Staff from 12% to 25%. You max out to 4 to 8. Okay, that's pretty good. Wall of Ellie. The Frost version of this ability now applies the damage shield to you and five nearby group enemies that also absorb projectiles. No longer snares the enemies and does 25% less damage than the other LMO version. Okay. Fix an issue where the shock version of this ability Morse was capped at hitting six targets despite having auxiliary debuffs. LMO blockade. The frost version of this morph now applies an additional smaller shield on you and group members in the area when it ends. So, a lot, a lot of changes to keep track of there. One handed shield. We got deadly bash. Fix an issue where the passive. Could be active while not wearing a sword or shield, which caused your character to fail to bash properly. When at low stamina, making you appear to jitter as if you drank Tamriel's largest cup of coffee, spiked the moon sugar. These guys, these guys got too much time on their hands. Fix my PvP, damn it. Puncture. This ability now applies major breach rather than fracture. I don't know. I think that's the 5,280. I don't know. Pierce armor. This morph now applies minor breach as well. Okay, two handed berserker strike. Fix an issue where this ability is ultimate and its morph camera shake <laughs> when striking multiple targets will make you experience a brief but violent earthquake. The camera shake is now <laughs> the same despite how many enemies you hit with it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have too much time. Armor, fix some shit with your pets, guild stuff. Um. Fire room, fix, champion system, blah, 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 blah. Consumables. Crafted sets. Oh. They buffed my set again. The major buffs granted from this set now last 21 seconds up from 16 seconds. The danger trick reset, by the way. Reduce the cooldown, getting a major buff to 9 seconds down from 20 seconds. This means... If the Mad God favors you, you can have up to three major buffs active at once. Or if one is dispelled, you have another one. Oh god. That's pretty good. You run this on DK, fellas? Could you imagine having major mending and major vitality up at the same time with major heroism? Oh god. Yeah, this is... This is going to be meta on DK. Horcrux said it first. This is meta for DK. Straight up. His bark. This sets three piece bonus is now stamina rather than health recovery. Whatever in the axiom. Fix an issue where this sets bonus and weapons full damage did not apply to special activities from pets to blah 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 blah. Magnus gift. Fix an issue where this sets visual failed to apply. I'm going to set proc, no one cares, my mother's gaze. This set now applies a major breach for 4 seconds rather than major fracture for 6 seconds when you critically strike an enemy. Okay. Nova's Conquest. This set now procs off any bash rather than interrupts. The hill now heals for 9300 over 10 seconds rather than 4300 instantly. Added a 10 second cooldown to the hill. Spectre's Eye. Haven't heard about this set in a long time. Increase the duration and cooldown to major invasion grand from this set from 30 seconds up from 5 and 10 respectively. It's still dog shoot set. Unchained Aggressor. Increase the duration of Major Berserk granted to 12 from 6. Reduce the cooldown to 14 seconds down from 16. I think this is when you break free you get Major Berserk or something. Someone's going to look that set up for me. Oof. We have a lot more to go through, apparently. Alright, where was we? Dungeon Arena sets. We got Banny's Torment. 
increase the duration of the beam to 15 seconds up from 5, increase the cooldown from 15 seconds from 14. Draw Zaka's claws, fix an issue with his set, could fail to activate Dorok's Bane. Oof. Increase the duration of Major Defile Grand from the set from, to 5 seconds up from 4, reduce the cooldown to 7 seconds down from 8. Good deal. Draugr's Rest. This set now has a friendly telegraph to know its area of effect. Hand of Failure reduces snare potency of this set to 33% down from 50%. Heaven of Versus, or Haven of Versus, fixed numerous issues with the targeting of this set's synergy. The shield granted now always grants to itself to the six lowest health targets and 20 meter radius of the synergizer rather than the wear of the set and six more. Okay. Fixed an issue with the shield was not enhanced by a harmony trait. Uh, that's gross. Healer's Habit. This set now grants an additional 5% healing when wearing 5 pieces. Okay. Him draws Retribution. This set now also grants up to 129 weapon damage wearing 5 pieces. Increases the duration of Major Berserk on Proc to 10 seconds up from 5. Iron Blood. This set now grants a unique 30% damage reduction rather than Major Protection. That's Okay, so you can have major protection on top of this now. That's scary. Iron blood. Yeah, I'm going to jot this one down somewhere too, fellas. That's interesting. Jailer's tenacity. Increased duration up to 8 seconds. Uh, up from 5. I'm not sure what that does. Nightmare. This set now also grants up to 1200 max health and wearing 5 pieces. The 4 piece bonus is now armor and set weapon damage. Increase the duration of minor main to 5 seconds up from 2. Add a 3 second cooldown, Scathing Mage. Uh, fix a few issues where the direct damage attacks that were bound to areas would fail to proc. This set, such as Elemental Ring, we have Sunder Flame, reduce the damage done to 12,500 over 10 seconds from 13,600. Alright, Overland sets. Champions of the Hiss. Increase the max health this set gains on its 5 piece to 1,600 up from 1,200. Grace of Gloom, reduce cooldown the set to 20 seconds, down from 25. The heal from the set now heals every, now heals for 2,500 every two seconds rather than 1,100 every second. This should significantly reduce the visual rave-like noise of the set. Never really heard this set to be honest. We had Mad Tinkerer fix an issue where this set's tooltip would say it had a cooldown despite not having one. Order of Diagna. This set now grants an additional 5% healing where it has 5 pieces. Shock Skeleton, Exoskeleton increases spell damage of the set on its 5 piece to 171 up from 129. Vampire Cloak. This set now also grants the 171 spell damage while wearing 5 pieces. Venom Smite. Fixed an issue where the visual of the set could remain after the effect ended, such as when the target removed the ability via Purge or died. Warrior's Poet. Increase the max health is set from 5 piece to 1600, up from 1200. Wisdom of Vanus. Increase the duration of major mending granted from the set to 5 seconds, up from 3. Okay. Now, these are the PvP source sets. I really hope they change these. Affliction. Increase the damage per proc to 2200, up from 1800. Not enough. Coward's Gear. This set now also grants 250 stamina recovery while wearing the 5 piece. Fasala's Guile. This set now only activates while in combat to help reduce the irradiant message area of effect spam it creates. The visuals have also been adjusted to proc either each tick, but with less aggressive sounds. This set now also gives you 14 or 1500 armor wearing 5 pieces. Lucky's Focus reduce the damage penalty of your area of effect attacks to 5%, down from 15. Okay. Steadfast Hero, increase the duration of major protection granted on proc to 10 seconds up from 5. Reduce the cooldown to 12 seconds down from 18. That's pretty good. A word Hero, increase the duration of major defile from the set to 4 seconds up from 3. Alright. My dogs are doing something weird. Uh, trial sets. The following sets now grant either grant their major buff for 1 second for every 10 seconds 10 ultimate spent rather than every 14, okay? Automated Defense, Inventor's Guard, Master's Architect, and War Machine. Next, increase the resource on kill from the following sets to 2500 up from 2100. 
False Gods, Quick Serpent, and Vicious Ophidian. Arms of Relic one. Increase the damage per tick that's set to 330, 355 per stack, up from 300. Eternal Warrior, increase the heal from this set to 25,000, up from 1250. Wow, that's a double. Healing Mage, this set now plays Minor Cowardice. The enemies hit for 5 seconds rather than reducing their weapon and spell damage by unique amounts. Add a 3 second cooldown to the set. Immortal Warrior, increase the duration of Major Protection to 20 seconds. Brock, up from 10. I thought we just went over that. Reduce the cooldown to 20 seconds. Down from 35. Oh, I do we just go over that? Immortal Warrior. Let me look here. Oh no, it's Steadfast Hero. Whatever. Kinds win. Increase the resources granted per tick from this set to 420 up from 499. <laughs> they just wanted to do that for shits and giggles, I'm sure. Lunar Bastion. Increase the shield size per tick to 2700 up from 2400. Two for the Locust Steaks. Locusties, locusties, whatever. Increase the duration of Major Slayer, granted from this set to 16 seconds, up from 10. Rolls Command, reduce cooldown of Major Aegis, granted from the set 21 seconds, down from 36. Increase the duration of the set to 12 seconds, up from 10. Gangear's Might has a lot of things on it. I'll just let that be. I've never even heard this set. We're just going to go on. Monster Mass. Ugh, good lord. No, there's not much. Lady's Thorn. Sanguine Bursts. Major Maim now lasts 8 seconds, up from 5. Reduce the cooldown per target to 20 seconds, down from 30. Okay. Pirates to and fix numerous issues with this weapon swapping and block monitor. They change appearance of its item set. This finally means that this set will no longer interrupt you if you're holding block while it's active. Thank God. Remove the proc chance from this set. Increase the duration of the effects to 15 seconds, up from 10. Awesome. Increase the cooldown. 20 seconds from 15 not cool this set now applies minor defile to you rather than major defile wow okay cool I like it Scourger's Harvester increases the duration of the set to 6 seconds up from 4 reduce the tick frequency to 1 second down from a half a second total healing from this set is now 7500 over 6 seconds and set 5700 over 4 seconds Fix an issue where the major vitality granted from the set could persist longer than the beam did. Uh, Vicosa. This set now applies major cowards to enemies rather than unique debuff to prevent situations where you could reduce target's weapon spell damage to zero, causing them to deal no damage. <laughs> Didn't know that. Increase the duration to 8 seconds up from 5. Increase cooldown from the set to 16 up from 15. Zons. Fix an issue where the set was not properly labeled as a proc. Okay. Ability altering weapons, concentrated force, fix an issue with a visual that said did not proc uh, on the, the display, minute reward, increase the duration of major vitality, granted from set to four seconds up from two. And I think that's it. Oh, thank God. I don't know how people sit here and read all this. Just trying to go through anything else. Let's see. And that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Horcrux. Please like and subscribe. As mentioned before, 86% of you guys. Yes, guys, because only 1% one, 1 of the girls watch this. Talking to you guys are now subscribed. Please, thank you. Have a great day.